hello and welcome back. This is Rosalind's Kitchen, and I've, I'm Rosalind, of course, and I am doing going back to doing my home chef videos. My ponytail has fallen. There we go. Anyway, so we are going to start with one that should be fairly easy. It is called Pot Roast meatballs with peas and potatoes. It's pretty much a self-sufficient little thing because it comes with the meat. But not only that, this sucker comes with the pan too. It's an all-in-one meal. It comes with the pearl onions the peas, the Parmesan cheese, the Italian potato seasoning, the pot roast seasoning, because of course you can't have pot roast without pot roast seasoning, the potatoes, which are already cut up, so I'm not having to cut them, the cornstarch, the glaze, the, oh, of course, more pot roast seasoning, more glaze, and butter. So they say on this that it takes about 30 to 40 minutes to make. It's not spicy and it's easy. In fact, some of you who have seen the backs of my other ones, this one has three steps. Uno, dos, tres, dinner. Let's get started. Now, before I get down to the cooking, the last time, one of my big problems was that I really didn't have a lot of plug-ins for my phone. So I have now purchased one of these battery packs. This is a black web. It is awesome. It lasts forever. And it will keep my phone from dying in the middle of my doing this. So, yay! Okay, the first thing, it says as the ingredients appear in my little list, I'm supposed to open them and put them in. So, I've got all my little ingredients kind of over here just ready for me to do what I need to do with them. So first it says to preheat the oven, so I'm doing that. Um, then it says to combine a fourth of a cup, ah, hello, not drop it on the floor, fourth of a cup of water, the demi-glaze, these guys, and the cornstarch. So let's do that. All right, so my fourth of a cup of water, my demi-glaze, yeah. now they say to combine this in the bottom of my pan, which personally I think might be a little difficult to, you know, stir. I just have my suspicions about it because the pan has ridges and everything. So I'm going to combine it in my handy dandy little bowl here and then transfer it to the pan. Okay, there, no. Somewhere on this little packet is somewhere to tear, but at the moment I can't find it, so I'm going to cut through the problem, kind of like the Gordian knot. If any of you know that story. I think it was Alexander the Great was presented with a knot that could not be untied. And it was called the Gordian Knot. And if he could untie if he could untie it, he could be the king. So he looked at it and studied it and went, screw this, took a sword and cut it in half. And since then, when somebody take, has a hard problem, they call it a Gordian knot, 
but you can cut through the Gordian knots in your life. That's the story of him, anyway. All right, so now I am going to pour this in my pan. Okay. All right, now I am going to, in a mixing bowl, be combining my ground beef. You can also, if you're not into beef, because some people are not beef eaters anymore, you can do ground pork or ground turkey. All you need is to make sure it's like 10 ounces. I'm a beef eater, so I'm eating my meat. Now I will have this, my panko crumbs, a little salt, a little pepper, and then I will form them into balls. So let me get my mixing bowl or a bowl. Okay, so our kosher salt, our pepper. I'm gonna cut open my meat because I'm not even gonna try and fight with it to peel back the stuff. Pull it out. Come on. Convince it to come out anyway. Come on. Get out of there. Ugh. Don't you hate it when your meat defies you? There. Okay, there's my meat. Here are my panko. Crumbs. Here's my parmesan. And in case you're wondering, yes, I washed my hands before I started this. I am not going to be spreading coronavirus. I don't have any coronavirus to spread, but even if I did, I wouldn't be spreading it. Now, mash the tickets together. Mush, 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 mush. It's kind of therapeutic, you know, to smush meat. It's like dough, except cold. Dough is not usually cold. But you want to make sure that it's well mixed, because you don't want all the panko crumbs in one place and all the parmesan in another place. And, you know, you, you want it mixed. Okay, now, I haven't put in the salt and pepper yet, so let me... I gotta wash my hands again so I can get my salt and pepper. 